Breedlove, and we're going to talk about the bridge stress system. The bridge stress is installed into your guitar to counteract the string pull that happens from the bridge to the nut. All right, so the bridge stress can, consists of three basic parts. Uh, the main block of the bridge stress system, the dowel, which goes in through the block, and it goes into a hole in the tail block of the guitar, and what I call the worm screw, which fits in here, and this is what's going to adjust the uh, tension on the dowel here. On an American guitar, this worm screw is going to be 3 16 Allen head, and on an import guitar, it's going to be 5 30 seconds. All right, the screw that holds the dowel in place is called the worm screw. It's located at the bottom of the block right here. So when you're tightening or loosening the, uh, the worm screw for the dowel here, what you want to do is just tighten it up to where it's starting to push into the dowel. So when you reach inside the guitar and grab a hold of the dowel, and all you want to do is be able to spin it with, with a little bit of resistance. You don't want any side-to-side -side action of the dowel. I'll loosen it up a little bit just to give you an idea of too loose so you can see the play that I'm talking about. You can see that the dowel is sliding back and forth. Don't want that at all. You want to tighten it up just to where it stops sliding back and forth, just to where it starts to bite down. And then you reach in and all you want to do is be able to spin it with a little bit of resistance. You don't want it super tight and you don't want it super loose. Now, the bridge stress is just designed to counteract the string pull. It's not something that's inside the guitar for you to change the, the height of the strings or the action. Um, it's, its only purpose is to counteract the string pull. So you actually set it up and more often than not you're going to leave it uh, where it is. Uh, if a guitar gets over humidified or dried out, chances are it needs to get adjusted a little bit. Or if you go to a heavier gauge string, uh, you might want to check your bridge truss and, and adjust it accordingly. If you don't know what the bridge truss is for, if none of this makes sense, it's best to just leave it alone. And if you ever experience a bridge truss that's come loose, just send it back to us and we'll, we'll reinstall it for you. Uh, if you incorrectly adjust your bridge truss and, and something happens, it can result in a costly repair. So I do want to put the caution out there uh, that if you're not quite sure what you're doing with it, it's best to just leave it alone. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.